Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today I'm at the beautiful Sandals South Coast here in Jamaica. This incredible resort is spread out. That's the first thing you notice when you get here. There's a ton of space all the way around. They have those incredible signature over the water bungalows, quite a few different pools, of course, amazing white sandy beach. There's all kinds of features here that you're gonna fall in love with. Let me show you the resort. As soon as you arrive here on site, you know that you have entered a tropical paradise. It is an absolutely massive resort. The grounds are impeccably manicured. I love all the foliage here. They even have an on-site nursery and they take excellent care. You can see the beautiful hibiscus behind me and the theme of this kind of European mix of a resort. You've got the beautiful entryway going into the lobby and then it heads right out to a stunning Italian piazza. So we're gonna start our tour off in the piazza. Just behind me is the main reception area. This is the heart of the resort. You're gonna find all the restaurants, the main pool, the beach just out in front. And then you even have the shops around here as well. It's beautifully designed. And as you walk out, it's reminiscent of being in Italy. But I love that they have everything in one central place, even though it's a massive resort and it's very spread out with all kinds of different options here for rooms and suites, including those amazing over the water bungalows. So right behind me, you see the fountain. And as we continue along, we're gonna head over to where they have all the restaurants. So behind me, you can see Giuseppe's and Jasmine. So that's the Italian and Asian restaurant. And then as we continue along, you've got Cafe de Paris, Eleanor's, that's the Caribbean fusion. And then just in front is Bayside. Also set down on the beach, you've got sushi on the sand. And on the other side, you're gonna have Neptune. So you can see how they have all of the main restaurants in one area wrapped around this massive pool. Now, every great all-inclusive has a fantastic pool with, of course, an incredible swim-up bar. But this is a pool. It's the people that make the difference. The, the bartenders have been awesome. Of course, they provide service throughout. They're going to have games going on here throughout the day. You see the basketball hoop behind me. Actually, DJ's just getting ready to set up for the music. So this is kind of that multifunction pool. There's different pools here on site depending on the vibe that you're going for during the day. So right here, you have the large jacuzzi hot tub right in the middle. They've got shallow entrance on this side. There's actually another shallow beach entrance on the other side as well. You've got the steps in. It gets a little bit deeper over here and then over towards the swim up bar. But what you can see is directly in front of me is that classic sandals tower framing the beautiful ocean view here. There's a fantastic beach. We'll take you down there in just a minute, but check out this beautiful pool area. So all around the pool, you're gonna find the lounge chairs with umbrellas. They have quite a few different options. You can put more together for a group of friends. They also have towel stations tucked around so you can grab a clean towel anytime that you want. But one of my favorite features is if you're staying in one of those butler level villas or suites, of course, they can set up the lawn chairs for you. They can have them ready for you when you come down in the morning, whatever time that is, even have a fully stocked cooler. They can also do that on the beach as well. Just one of those nice ways to step up the romance. Now, once again, this is also an activity Activities pool, they've got water volleyball, all kinds of games. Let's see if I've got it. Ah, close, but no, well, nah, that's just normal, whatever. So now behind me, you can see that incredible swim up bar. You've got the seats all the way around it in the pool. Once again, the bartenders are going to make you very, very happy. You're gonna be laughing, drinks will be flowing. It's a really, really good time here. And just in front, you can also step up to the bar too as well if you're not ready to get in the water. And down below, you have a nice little lounge area. You see you've got the sofas right here. You also have these hanging love seats as well. Another one of those beautiful Italian fountains. But as you can see all around the pool, there's just perfect space for everyone. As I mentioned earlier, this resort has a ton of space. That's such a luxury on the beach here, but the location of the resort gives them that ability to do that. This is one of those places where you can see it. Behind me, you've got a fantastic fire pit option. We're actually just in front of Bayside. And in addition to the dining, they also have some pool tables out front as well. If you wanna have some fun with friends, you see the Connect Four behind me. They have games, Jenga set up all throughout the resort. You have another one of those beautiful fountains right here. And I wanted to point out that they have several seating areas. So there's seating areas over there in front. You have a garden just in front of here. So you have more couches looking out at that beautiful ocean view. And then as we continue along, you see they have even more over here. So these are all nice, bright white themed. You've got the umbrellas, you've got the couches, the love seats, and also continues on to the bar. So now this bar is multifunction. It's used for the restaurants, especially for Bayside when it converts into an evening restaurant and Neptune's, which we'll head into in just a bit. Right over here, you've got your ping pong table. But now that we're in the bar area, you can see they have the high tops here as well. And once again, the bartenders are sure to entertain, pour some great drinks and make your vacation incredibly special. 
Now, just behind me is Neptune's restaurant. It's set right here on the beach. It's actually right next to the dock as well. So for lunch, you can come in here. Once again, it's an open air seating. You've got different kinds of seating options. You've got the two tops, four tops. They can put them together for larger groups. You can see you have some out here that would be in the sun a little bit later. And then you have the ones underneath the shade structure as well. And then in the far back, you're gonna have that open concept kitchen. Now for lunch, you can get different things like a fish burger. They've got some great shrimp dishes, salads, soups, things along those lines. And then for dinner, it turns into a seafood restaurant. But of course, they also have some fantastic steak and chicken options as well. So if you're considering a nice romantic al fresco dining experience, Neptune's may be the place for you. Now on site at all Sandals and Beaches Resorts, you're gonna find the Island Roots Tour Company. I just wanted to point out one option. You've got the catamaran behind me. That's one of those upgraded options, but they also have tours all throughout the island. You wanna dig into the culture a little more, the food, some of the different art and architecture, or get out and have a fantastic time on the water. You may wanna consider that. Now we're gonna take care of all those details even before you arrive, and we highly recommend you do that so you don't have to think about anything when you arrive here on resort. Now, of course, they also have an incredible amount of complimentary options here that are part of the all-inclusive package. Just behind me, you see the dive boat getting ready to go out. So they do have complimentary scuba diving. Of course, if you need to get certification, they can do that. They even have their own pool. That's an extra cost, but you can go diving every single day for no additional cost. And they have a wide variety of water sports that are included as well. Sandals has the largest dive operation in all of the Caribbean because they have it at all of the resorts. They do a great job and being that it's included, we find that a lot of our dive groups tell us it's an incredible value. Now, just up from the dock on the corner of the property, you're gonna find the Aqua Center. So this is your headquarters for everything dive related. So they've got that fantastic dive pool just behind me. That's where you can learn the different levels of certification. Once again, if you're already certified, you don't need to do that here, but I think it's a great bonus if it's something you wanna do on vacation or you haven't had a time to do before. So they also have some upgraded options too as well if you wanna consider them. One of my favorites is going out on a night dive. You can also do snuba if you don't wanna go all the way into the scuba experience. But they have a ton of inclusions. Once again, such a unique feature for an all-inclusive resort. Now, one of the reasons Sandals has invested so heavily in the dive experience is not only that their guests love it, but there's so many great places around the Sandals and Beaches resorts to dive. You can see we're down here in South Coast. You've got all these different reef systems. We actually just came from Sandals and Beaches Negril. And then on the top side of the island, you've got Sandals Mobe and Royal Caribbean where we started ours. But you can see all of these different dive sites. So you can head out almost every single day to a different location and well, explore incredible nature. In addition to all of the scuba inclusions, there are a ton of other water sports that you can enjoy as part of your all-inclusive package. So they do have snorkeling. They'll take you out into this beautiful water, glass bottom boat. They also have these Hobie cats, sailboats, windsurfing. You can also get a stand-up paddleboard if you wanna take it out, and this is a perfect location for that. And then some of our all-time favorites, you got those kayaks back there. And then if you wanna go motorized, you can do wakeboarding, kneeboarding, and water skiing. And once again, you don't find those inclusions at most all-inclusive resorts. All of that's gonna be included here at Sandals South Coast. Now, in addition to all the things you can do in the water, they're gonna have all kinds of different games set up throughout the resort. You've got the water volleyball and basketball in the pools. They've got this great four corner volleyball game. Of course, I'm gonna dominate because well, I'm a bit taller than the net though. I think Chad's got me by, well, anyway, we'll see. But in addition to that, you can go to the activity site. You can check out different kinds of things. They actually have board games and stuff. But in addition to that, you can get different balls like a soccer ball, basketball, football, maybe play some Frisbee, set up cornhole down here on the beach. There is a wide variety and once again, all included. Now down on the beach, you can see once again how expansive this resort is. They have a massive stretch of beach here and it wraps all the way around. So this is one full beach. It's actually bigger, bigger than most all-inclusives have. And then as you turn the corner up there, you actually have an incredible large beach there as well. You've got the beautiful white sand and all throughout, you're gonna have the palapas and chairs. They also have some umbrellas and loungers as well all throughout. And what I like about this is as the sun moves throughout the day, depending on what you're looking for, you can even shift your position to the other part of the beach and the far side is where you're gonna take in those incredible sunsets. You got one of the palapas set here behind me for a romantic dinner or even a wedding. And then in the distance, you can see that beautiful signature over the water wedding chapel. Now, one of my favorite things on the beach is if you do choose to upgrade to one of those butler level suites, your butler can come down here early in the morning, even before you, get, you wake up. They're gonna set it up 
decorated, especially if you have a special occasion. They're going to have a cooler stock there for you with all of your favorite drinks, beers, mixers, wines, whatever it is that you're asking for. And then you can use your phone and call them, have your food service right here on the beach, drink service, or just about anything. And don't forget, you can even have a massage on the beach. Set just on the beach, you're gonna find the jerk shack. That's a tribute, of course, to Jamaica. You've got jerk pork, chicken, and sausage. It's a really simple menu. In addition to that, you've got a few other items. One of our favorites, the festival bread. It's absolutely delicious. And that roasted sweet potato. But what this is about is tasting a little bit of Jamaica. It's a very, very casual option here. You can sit right here on the beach, take in the beautiful views, the breeze coming off, and enjoy a nice snack or your lunch. Now all along the beach, in addition to the beach chairs, you have places to lounge in the water, our all-time favorite. They've got those rings out there where you've got a net inside, kind of like a catamaran net, where you can sit, relax, maybe even sip a drink. They also have a floating lounger out there as well. But I like that they have all these separate different swimming areas in the beach, and then of course, the pools as well. Also set down on the beach, you're gonna have a couple upgrade options. So these cabanas do come with an additional cost, but of course they're beautiful. You've got the day beds inside, you've got the, the chairs and tables. So you can dine right here in your own cabana. And then out here, they've got the loungers set up as well. Now, if you wanna take advantage of some more complimentary options, in addition to all the loungers, they have these day beds set up throughout the resort, but lots of places to lounge and enjoy the sun. Now, one thing that I love about this particular resort is heading all the way out into the sea and it wraps completely around the resort. It's actually way bigger than the resort area is the White House Marine Protected Area. So this entire area is a no fishing zone. You can't take any sea life off of the, the ground as well. They've got sea urchins and conchs and all those kind of things out there as well. But I love that they have this protected, which makes all of those excursions that head out to the water, the snorkeling, even more exceptional because it's so pristine. One of the most popular spots on this site to get married is this incredible little white wedding chapel that's over the water. They've got those glass panels on the ground so you can see right through below you like the over the water bungalows they have here on site. But what's so unique about this is of course it's setting out on the water. All of the doors open up on the sides, the front. You can have that incredible view out. They, they can set up the altar down there at the front or really customize it any way you want. Sandals does an amazing job with weddings in so many ways. They have some of the best inclusions in the industry. Of course, you have different upgraded options as well. But as your wedding party grows, of course, the inclusions grow as well. But Sandals has been known for weddings for so many years. And this particular site is one of the favorites in all of the brand's portfolio. Now inside, you can see they've got it set up in, well, a couple chairs here. They can set it up several different ways, even extending down this way as well. But what this is, is it's that place to start your marriage off in style. Of course, you can ring the wedding bells and have a fantastic wedding and then head right over and start enjoying your honeymoon right away. Now, one of the things that I love about a destination wedding is, you know, when you get married at home, usually there's a big buildup and then everybody goes home after a couple hours. But down here, your guests can party with you before, during and after. And then you can even escape for that honeymoon. One of those most popular locations is to head out to those over the water bungalows. But whatever you want for your perfect day, Sandals can customize it because they've been doing it for so long. They do a great job with it. And it's one of the most popular places for all of our guests. Now, if you're considering this spot for your wedding or any spot here on the resort or any sandals for that matter, they have a great program called Test Drive Your Wedding. You can actually come down, have a discounted rate for a couple nights, check it out, meet with the wedding and vacation planners, and they can handle all those details for you here on site. Now, we're gonna take care of all the details for your guests because you know if you can hand that off completely, let us take care of all of the travel planning. All you have to do is focus on picking out your perfect day, coming down and enjoying it with all of your family and friends. Set in the middle of the Italian courtyard, you have a large jacuzzi hot tub here. There's actually four entrances and then all around you're gonna have seating and they actually have seating in the middle as well. Just a nice little alternative. If you're staying here in the village, you can hop out, take advantage of the hot tub, head down to the beach and then they have the showers as well as you go back and forth. Now we're heading from the Italian beach area. We're wrapping right around the corner to the Dutch beachfront. And then further along is the French village beachfront area. Wanted to point out this beautiful palapa. Now one of the classics here on site is to do that romantic dinner for two. This is one of those spots they can do it. They have several different piers that stick out into the water where you can do it as well. We saw some couples really enjoying that last night. They've got the fire going or of course those tiki torches. But what's so great about that is a nice romantic away. Now keep in mind, we'll handle that for you before 
before you even depart. We do highly recommend that you get all of that pre-booked. It's incredibly popular, so if you get here on site, we don't want you to miss out. But more importantly, as soon as you get here, we want you to start relaxing, unwinding, and not having to worry about a thing. Now, just behind me is the Dutch Village pool. Now, just before they arrived, they finished the massive renovation of the Dutch Village. All of the rooms have been updated, and you can also see it here in the pool space as well. So you've got the bench seating wrapped all the way around. You've got a large hot tub set right on the beach. And there's a huge beach bar as well just down there. Now this does not have a swim up bar. Of course, there's pools here on site that do, but I love that they have the bar right there. They're gonna provide service all the way around. They've got those great loungers over there that are in the water itself. So it's a little narrow, shallow shelf that steps right out into the pool. And then you've got all of the lounge chairs around with the umbrellas, the towel stations. But what I love about this particular pool is you also have the swim ups just behind. I absolutely love the swim up rooms and they did an incredible job when they renovated this particular part of the, the resort. Now set just in front of the Dutch Village, you have this beautiful gazebo. Of course, another one of the spots for a nice romantic dinner. But yesterday they had a wedding here. It was absolutely beautiful. There's so many fantastic spots around the resort where you can tie the knot and start your marriage off in style. And here you can even walk right on down into the water and jump on in. Why not? Just behind me, you're gonna find Latitudes Over Water Bar. Of course, if you wanna change your attitude as you get down here and change your latitude, this is a perfect place for that. I love that they have those catamaran nets all the way around. Perfect place to sit, relax, enjoy a drink, or well, anyway, as soon as I get in one of those, my blood pressure goes down, my smile goes up, and of course, it's even better to have a drink in my hand. Now they have social spaces all around here as well. Of course, you're gonna have bar stools wrapped all the way around the bar. You also have these fire pits. So there's two here. There's actually two set further back as well. This is that perfect place to gather with friends before dinner, after dinner, or just to come out and enjoy the ambiance. In my mind, it gets even more special in the evening. But as you can see here during the day, it's absolutely beautiful. You've got that turquoise water all the way around. And you can even see those beautiful over the water bungalows in the distance. Now, if you wanna see those, make sure you check out the full tour on our channel. Just behind me is the French Village Pool. You can see you've got that swim up bar in the distance. Absolutely a blast every single day. Now this is a pretty active pool here. They're gonna have the speakers going, they'll have music, different kinds of activities. You see the water volleyball set up right there. And then all the way around, you're gonna have the loungers. I like on this part of the pool here, you actually have a shallow entry, kind of like a beach entry. So you can have the loungers in the water if you prefer that, or just head right on in. There's also a nice large hot tub. They've got ping pong. I also really like that they have some different kinds of chairs over here. These are kind of like on the ground day beds. Those are really popular with the umbrellas as well. And then you've got the basketball hoop for some fun, connect four, and then once there, once again, right here on the beach. Now, what I love, once again, and I know I mentioned this before, is it's the bartenders, it's the servers, it's the people that are here that make this place special. They're gonna have so much fun with you, they're gonna keep you rocking, dancing, have all kinds of different games throughout the day. Once again, there's other places around the resort if you want that nice, quiet experience, but if you're looking for a fun pool, this might be it. A little pool game fun, you know? You got it. Ah. Man, I don't know if anybody ever makes these shots. I'm going to the bar. Just in front of the French Village, you're gonna find Schooner's Seafood Grill. It's behind me. It's all open air. They've got several different structures that's part of it. You've got the fans there. It is a lunch and dinner restaurant. So for lunch, it's gonna be a little more classic. You're gonna have all kinds of different salads. You've got burgers, fish sandwich, and then of course, chicken wings. Gotta love that. And then in the evening, it pays tribute to the local area. So it's a seafood restaurant with a little bit of Caribbean vibe in there. But if you're looking for that lobster, this is the spot for you. Nestled in the far corner of the resort, you're gonna find these beautiful butler level cabanas. Of course, the butler's gonna set it up even before you arrive, stock your cooler and provide service throughout. But these specific ones are for those incredible over the water bungalows. There are 12 of them in the shape of a heart. They're a fantastic option here on the resort. They do sell out pretty far in advance, so make sure you reach out right away to us if you're interested. But it is an amazing way to enjoy the Caribbean, whether for a honeymoon, you're celebrating a wedding, or just a romantic getaway for two. That is an amazing option. They can bring your kayaks right out there. Of course, you have all the butler service throughout your stay, and you can see out there on the balconies, Wow, it's just a little bit of perfection. We do have the full tours of those if you wanna see those, the Rondeval Suites, and every single other room category here on the resort. 
set right on the beachfront, you'll see sushi on the sand. You can see it's set up a bit of Japanese traditional style here. You got the high top seating for larger groups and then of course the small ones as well. But what this is, is a classic sushi restaurant. You've got all of your favorite different types of rolls, nigiri, sashimi, and of course sushi. And they've got some fantastic appetizer soups. It's actually a very, very casual space. There's a small indoor seating if you want to sit at the sushi bar. But I say sit out here, look at those incredible views, and this is a true open air restaurant. You got those fantastic breezes coming right up off the beach. Now every all-inclusive is going to have an Italian restaurant. They have a great one here on site called Giuseppe's. They've got some fantastic specialties from the Emilia Romagna region of Italy, one of my favorite places to visit, and a wide variety. Their signature dish is chicken parmigiana, but they have all kinds of antipastis, pastas, all of those things that you can imagine. It's an absolutely massive space. It's really impressive. They have the high ceilings up above, the beautiful chandeliers, they have the booth seating, and then of course two, four, six, eight tops. Even if you're traveling with a larger wedding party, they can put some tables together as well. Now, in addition to the indoor space, they also have a fantastic outdoor space. So you just let them know if you wanna dine outside or inside. Now that's all for dinner, but they also open for lunch every single day where you're gonna find pizzas. I mean, who doesn't love a good pizza? They have a fantastic extra large pizza oven right back there. And then of course the pizza chefs getting after it, making some incredible creations. So once again, a great choice for lunch or dinner. Now this beautiful space is Jasmine's. It is truly an Asian fusion restaurant, specifically modeled after a village in Laos. It's meant to be essentially putting together all of those different cuisines that so many people love. Malaysian, Filipino, of course Thai, Vietnamese, Southern Indian, and even Japanese. You're gonna find items from all over the map and they're all delicious. You can see the setup they have here. They've got the booths over in the corner. You've got some larger tables, and of course they can put them together for larger groups. I especially like the booths over here. You can see this structure, once again, meant to look like it's from the country of Laos. Now you can dine inside or you can dine outside. Now if you're looking to spice up your night, I highly recommend that you check out this restaurant and enjoy it while you're here. In addition to the fantastic flavors, it's a beautiful space. It has another one of those extra tall ceilings. They've got the decor all the way around, really beautiful. Now we're just inside Eleanor's and this restaurant pays tribute to the heritage of Jamaica. You're gonna find all kinds of classic West Indian dishes and Jamaican dishes as well. That snapper escovich or their signature pork chops. You can see behind me the setups of an old mill and then over to the corner, the beautiful decor throughout the entire space. Now here you have all tables. You're gonna have two, four. Of course, they can put them together for larger groups. And they have a really nice large outdoor space as well. Now, in addition to that full dinner menu that you can have in here, this is also the spot where they do a la carte breakfast. So all those classic breakfast dishes, if you wanna bypass the buffet, come and have a nice seated breakfast. My favorite, especially outside underneath the beautiful sky. Make sure that you check this out for breakfast or dinner. Now this massive space is Bayside. It's by far the largest restaurant here on site. They have this indoor seating area. We're actually kind of up on almost a stage area, but it's all around me. You see in the far corners, you've got large tables, booths, different kinds of options, the beautiful decor on the wall. And I love that they have a massive skylight up above. Now this is a casual eatery. So for breakfast, they do a rotating menu every single day. You can see that they have all of this set up in buffet fashion. You can get those egg dishes made to order. You have several different buffet stations here and then there's even more over in the corner as well. Sometimes they use this for lunch as well where they're gonna have a rotating theme menu again. And then at dinner, this actually is the French restaurant. So if you're craving some escargot or maybe one of their signature chicken cordon bleu, this is a fantastic option for an all-inclusive. I love that they have that theme. They kind of move it around so the space is very versatile and you can have a different menu here every single day. Now, one of my favorite features here is they finally made a chair big enough for me. Eh, maybe not big enough for me. Now we're inside what is always Taylor's favorite spot on the resort. We're in Cafe de Paris. This is a beautiful coffee shop. You've got all kinds of different pastries. And of course, holy crepe, they can make crepes late into the night here for you. You can see a wide variety of pastries you can come and get any time that you'd like. In fact, those, well, they all look pretty good. I'm gonna have to stay in here for a few minutes after we film. You've got some cookies, macaroons, different kinds of things along those lines. And then of course, the espresso maker, which is the heart of every coffee shop and Taylor's heart, of course, as well. 
Now what I love, being that it's all inclusive, you've got all the different coffee dishes, or you can spice it up a little bit, add some Frangelico, Kahlua, make some different kinds of coffee combinations. But my favorite right over here is of course the gelato. So they've got complimentary gelato here. Once again, I love that at an all-inclusive that they have really nice, good quality items in here made to order, sure to delight. As soon as you arrive here at this beautiful resort, you're gonna have that iconic entry coming off the road and you'll head into this beautiful, large reception area. They've got a huge dome up above, kind of the theme that you'll find here around the piazza, the really high ceilings. Of course, when they renovated the resort, they added in all of this beautiful brand new furniture. You've got the flowers in here as well. Now keep in mind, if you're staying in a concierge level or higher, you can utilize the spaces in here, but you're probably gonna head straight over to the concierge lounge. So now I'm just inside the Club Sandals Lounge. If you're staying in one of the concierge levels or higher, this is yours to utilize throughout your entire stay. In fact, as soon as you arrive, you're gonna check in right here. The fantastic concierges will take care of you at check-in, take you to your room, and then of course you can utilize their services throughout your entire stay. They can make reservations or appointments for you, answer questions, they even have some books to borrow, games, and well, our favorite over in the corner, that fantastic espresso maker. But really, this is just a bonus space for those of you who choose to upgrade. Just off the side of the lobby, you have one of the wedding offices right here. What I love about that is as soon as you get here on site, you can go in, meet with the wedding consultant. Of course, they have a wide variety of options inside. You can see the different colors that they offer, but really your wedding is customizable exactly as you like. And in here, they're just gonna put it all together and put the bow on top. Now I'm just inside the loyalty and travel desk. Our customers have an incredible time when they visit Sandals and Beaches, and so many of them will come here on site and book their next vacation. Now I highly recommend that you consider that simply because you're gonna find deals here that you will not find when you get back home. They have some pretty substantial discounts and all you need to do is the moment you get home, you let us know right away, we'll handle all of the details from there. Now I just wanted to point out, they've got this great map over here showing you where all the Sandals and Beaches resorts are and actually, it's a little bit like the trip we just took, starting off in Turks and Caicos, and then all the way around Jamaica, and then heading down into the Southern Caribbean. You've got Antigua, St. Lucia, Barbados, and Granada, and don't forget, all of them up in the Bahamas. But once again, if you are having an incredible time here, we highly recommend you book your next journey on site. You're gonna get those great discounts, and then we'll handle everything from there. Just behind me, you're gonna find the shopping arcade. It actually wraps all the way around this side of the building and to the other as well. They've got all kinds of different options for your retail therapy pleasure. If you wanna go shopping, they've got different clothing, watches, jewelry, different things like that. In addition to it, you can find some souvenirs from around Jamaica. And also it's got a sundry shop in there. So if you forgot something, certain type of sunscreen or something that you left at home, you can also find those in there as well. As you know, Sandals is all about romance. Of course, if you want to head over to Le Cabaret, you can head right on in the doors there or take a, one, a picture in one of the Instagram spots here. I love you too. So now I'm on stage at the theater here. Of course, you don't want to hear me sing right now. What this is, is every single night they're going to have a different theme show and party. So tonight is actually Jamaica night. I love that throughout the resort they have different things set up, artifacts, history about Jamaica. And then it's going to tie into the show later in the evening. Now they do Broadway style shows, all kinds of different options. Out here you can see the seating. They've got different kinds of bench seatings, booths. I love that they even have up top a mezzanine, but of course, this also doubles as the nightclub, so they've got a fantastic bar there back in the corner. You've got the high top tables in the back, like the bar style, if you'd like those as well. But this is a really good sized theater. It's indoors, air conditioned, and then once again, if you wanna stay after the show and go late into the night, this becomes the nightclub. Now a space that you're gonna find at every single Sandals Resort is the Red Lane Spa. It's a full service spa, and this one is absolutely beautiful. They've got the treatment rooms, sauna, steam room, full salon, they can do all of those services. And where they really, really shine is when you're getting ready for a wedding or you have a group party. But of course, relaxation and romance, let me show you what it's all about. Now we're just in the main reception area. This is where you're gonna come and check in. Of course, you can also come and they'll answer any questions for you. You can utilize your concierge or butler to make reservations as well. And I did wanna point out, they've got a pretty large selection of different kinds of duty-free options. So I hear that a lot that people that like these certain brands will come down here and stock up because it's a little lower cost, but you decide. Now let's head into the main part of the spa. 
set just behind the reception, you're gonna find this beautiful courtyard area. You've got another fountain. They even have loungers all the way around. Maybe you wanna come before or after your treatment. Another great place to get in that Zen mindset. And then continuing on in the back of the courtyard, they also have two plunge pools. So they've got a cold plunge and a warm plunge. Of course, going back and forth is a wonderful way to relax. The first stop on your Zen journey when you check in at the spa is to come right on over to the locker room. So they're set up, the men's and women's, we're in the men's right now, and got this nice relaxation area where you can fill out the paperwork, make sure you let your therapist know exactly what you like, what you're looking for, and what you need so they can take extra good care of you. It's also that perfect spot to get in the Zen mindset to get ready for your treatment or after. And I love that they have both a dry sauna over on that side, and then they're also going to have a steam room as well. So it, once again, it's identical on the men's and women's side. You also have a locker room. As soon as you check in, you're gonna get your own locker. Of course, you're gonna have a robe, slippers, ready to go get those treatments. Now we're inside one of the couple's treatment rooms. Of course, they have single and doubles all throughout the spa area. And in addition to in here, you can also get your spa treatments out on the spa Palapa. They have one down on the beach. They're also gonna have treatments around the resort. And of course, if you're in one of those incredible over the water bungalows or rendezvous suites, which we do have the videos of, you can get your treatments right on your own private deck. Now in here, you, of course, they'll have the wide variety of different kinds of massages. Had a hot stone massage, it was absolutely fantastic. But you can check out that full menu for yourself. We just wanted to show you this beautiful space. And then right here, they have it set up for that couple's treatment. You got the heart with rose petals right there. And then they'll draw the bubble bath for you. So it's kind of a combination treatment in here. But once again, Sandals does an incredible job with romance and relaxation. And what better way to put those two together than a spa treatment? Just off the reception, you're gonna find the salon. They could do nails, hair, all that kind of stuff. You can see these manicure stations. And what I like about these is they're versatile, so really nice and comfortable, and then they just pull that back. It can also function as a pedicure station as well. So just back here, you're gonna have the full hair stations. You've got hair wash over there, and then they've got several around the corner as well. But one of the favorites here on site, of course, they do a ton of weddings. You can actually take over this area for part of the wedding party. They've got some unique packages where you can have sodas, juices, of course, some champagne. They'll play music, have some hand and foot massages, and take advantage of this, getting ready for your dream day. Now behind me, you're gonna find Red Lane Fitness. So you've got the aerobic studio just behind me, and then on the far side, you're gonna have the gym. Now inside the gym, they've got a full complement of machines, all the different circuit machines that you need, the Smith machines, and then of course the aerobics. You've got cardio for treadmills, ellipticals, and well, my favorite, the stair stepper. Actually, I just go on the stairs in general, but whatever it is that you're looking for from a fitness standpoint, they've got you covered here. So in addition to utilizing the sports courts and the fitness centers yourself, they're gonna have complimentary classes and they also have some upgraded lesson options as well. So you can do stretch class, power walk, even couple stretching, head down to the beach for the beach shred, or one of my all time favorites, you can do the aqua fitness right in the pool. But right now we've got Jermaine and Norman who take great care of you. They can guide you through the process and even show you how to use the different equipment. So Taylor does spend a lot of time in here. I'll come in here for the nice air conditioning. They've always got TVs bottled water right there, and really nice chairs. One of those classic resort activities is of course shuffleboard. Once again, all around this incredible resort, they have these games. I like that they have the double ones here, so maybe you wanna do a tournament. I get a little competitive, I'm not gonna lie. So behind me, you can see that they have a full tennis complex here. They've got pickleball. It's a really, really large area. There's actually four separate tennis courts. They've got the targets in the distance, of course. I love that they have the shade structures as well in the middle. If you have some spectators, somebody hanging out and watching. Now, another fantastic feature is that all of these are lighted. So if during the day you wanna, well, have a great time, enjoy the beach, you can play a little bit of tennis maybe in the evening or of course in the early morning when it's a little bit cooler. Okay, so in addition to tennis, of course, they have pickleball as well. They've painted the lines for them and they have quite a few of these different courts. We do get a lot of groups that come down here and absolutely love it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh! So one of my all time favorites is of course the Connect Four. Got a few games going on throughout the resort. And then of course, I mean, who doesn't love Jenga? Let's see. <laughs> hmm. All right, there we go, your turn. Hmm, tricky one. 
Let's see. Ugh, every time. Now, as you wander around this sprawling resort day or night, you're gonna find you have the beautiful foliage. I love that they have all these lights lit up as well, but there's all kinds of different spaces that you can utilize for different functions. Whether you're here with a small wedding, you can have it here in the garden. Some people prefer not to be on the beach, or you can have it down on the beach as well. But for corporate incentive groups, different kinds of things along those lines, there are infinite combinations of places to use. Right here, you've got this gazebo that goes right out onto one of the wedding spaces. And then in addition to that, they can set up just about any space that you would like. They can bring in tents and have those if you're gonna have a larger event. They can also, once again, just set up on the patio. What I love so much about this resort is you have that unique character of an incredible amount of space. At beach resorts, you generally don't get that. They have a massive beach. They have a huge, huge grounds here. You're gonna love all the different combinations, whatever type of event you're putting together. Now, as I've walked around these beautiful grounds, I have been blown away by the meticulous care that they give to the landscaping. It's all lush, it's beautiful, and it looks perfect just about all the time. And this is actually their own nursery here on site. You can see all the different kinds of bougainvillea here. They've got a ton of different hibiscus over on that side, but all of these different plants, of course, they're cared for. And if any of them need extra care, they swap them out, but they take an incredible amount of energy, time. And I love that they do that because when you walk around this resort, in addition to the amazing pools and beaches and all of that, make sure you check out all the hard work that the landscapers do because they are incredible. Now on site here, they have something that every single resort in the world should have. They've got a departure lounge. So if you have a later flight in the evening, you can still enjoy all that this incredible resort has to offer. You've got lockers inside of there, showers, bathrooms, of course. So you can come back in, get ready to head on out, but we know you're coming back. So we're just inside the main ballroom here. They have dividers, of course, that can break this up into smaller breakout spots. They also have a full boardroom as well. But this particular resort does incredibly well with larger groups, incentive groups, of course, all different kinds. And what I like is in addition to all of this space, and of course they've got the audio visual, all those things that you're gonna need, they can also set up events all around the resort. There was a couple events going on now and they had different tents set up. They had some things set up down on the beach as well. So it's really customizable to your preference, whether a small group, an executive getaway, or a much larger incentive corporate group, or even a large friends and family. First off, congratulations for making it all the way through the tour. Thank you so much for joining us today. You can see why we love Sandals South Coast so much. The beautiful grounds, the pools, the beaches, the restaurants, but once again, it is the people. The staff here is fantastic. They have a great time. They always have a smile on their face and keep you cracking up. And you know why now so many of our customers come back time and time again. Now, when you're ready to visit this incredible place or any Sandals or Beaches resort, reach out to Hard Travel. We are your luxury, all-inclusive experts. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Sandals and Beaches Resort, and we know that we can craft the vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, group, or wedding party at an incredible value. Time to Palapa. That perfect place to take in the sunset view, even with Chad. Time for a drink. Maybe a sundowner?